Alright everyone, welcome to the Hitman 2 video. This is going to be an elusive target. The Undying Returns. This is a playthrough. Um, not a guide, as per usual. Uh, use this at your own risk. This is the same mission as the first one. So the first video is still valid. You can use this, the tactic scene in there. Uh, it's a little longer, but simpler and uh, easier, I think. So this time round, I'm going to do something slightly different. I want to get a more colourful kind of kill. And we're going to be using, well, I'm going to be using, if if you follow this at your own risk, by the way, um, then we're going to be loading in with a striker. A suitcase carrying a broadsword, yeah. <laughs> Some coins, a tranquilizer in the uh, reception, or the Kronstadt area. And we're starting at the, well, there's only one start location. So, uh, yeah. Off we go. Yes, yes. Okay, so we skip the intro. Good afternoon, 47. And get going. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. All right. Mindful, I'm going to collect for my uh, tranquilizer. On. I'm going to put it away, actually, and uh, I'm going to wait until this guy walks along and knock him out. I won't bother hiding, hiding him, he, he won't be found. Now, I could go through the door there with the key card that we just picked up, but I'm going to be going this way. I don't have a silenced pistol, so this way is better. Hey man. Yeah, I love what you do. I don't, I don't understand. We can easily avoid the camera there. There's a camera there, so just, just look at the ground and uh, swing around its field of view. And then we just run along here. Now we're going to uh, set this whole place on alert. We're going to do this by waiting here. Until this guy walks away. Alright, now. I'm going to get my strike out and just shoot this camera, why not? Target locked down. Gunshot heard. Oh, cool. We'll run to this area here and shoot that camera now. We're going to run in here then. Uh, walk behind this guy and uh, knock him out. We're still good. It's still green, the uh, SA indicator. Which, by the way, it's got to be pretty bad for certain types of colorblind people, I guess. I mean, it switches between green and red, which, well, could have been better than that, I think. <laughs> could have looked different. But whatever, that's completely beside the point. We are now um, disguised as this... Uh, hey. Disguised as you. <laughs> and uh, we can use the key card that we picked up earlier just to walk through here. So now, because we've sent the whole place into lockdown, the target... That is Mark Faber. Possibly the most elusive man in the history of the ICA. Yep. All right. So what we're going to do is just wait. Looks like we're in the clear. You'll be fine. Don't worry. And once he uh, relaxes, there you go. He just drops his phone. <laughs> I'm going to bump into him, place a coin and pick it up immediately. He'll walk over here. We wait until all these guards kind of like shuffle along. All right, make him look at you, place it again, pick it up. Yeah, there you go. Just keep doing it. Keep placing it and picking it up right away. Just keep doing it. <laughs> he will. Or just bump into him and then uh, place it and pick it up. Come on, walk over to the. No. Okay. No. Just bump into him if he's not responding. Look, point. There you go. Finally. All right. So now we've got this whole place set up. We're going to tranquilize these guys. And uh, we're going to whip out this uh, big old sword. And uh, end the guy. <laughs> Target eliminated. I'm just going to take a. Uh, Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. This Fink. guy. I'm going to just move one of these guys out of the way, just in case. Time just just for safety's sake. 
You don't need to, I guess. You can just risk running out here. It doesn't matter if their bodies are found, they've been tranquilized. That doesn't invalidate your... your anymore. But you gotta watch out. Uh, yeah, we're gonna run this way. Just watch out for this camera. I mean, it shouldn't catch you. The, uh, you can see it on the ground there. It's just, I don't know, it's just there to scare you. <laughs> and uh, we just run to the exit any way you want, really. I'm gonna choose this way. I did swap my disguise, by the way, so the other guy that we were disguised as is not allowed to go here. So, take the bodyguard disguise and just go along here. Now watch out, there's a camera to the right, so we're gonna run into, onto the grass. Down here. Steal this guy's coin, just because I can. And head to the exit. Alright, so it's just under five minutes. Not bad. Not supposed to be a speedrun though, but it's, uh, well... It's a pretty fun way of uh, doing it. <laughs> of course, you don't need to use a big old sword. You can use whatever you want. Uh, so yeah, Simon Assassin. Uh, not bad. You could poison him there. You could... Well, I guess he... It would be hard to drown him there because uh, he'll turn around and see the bodies and then be a bit spooked. Um... I mean, yeah, you can fire by him or do whatever you want. Shoot him in the back with a shotgun or something like that. I mean, you could even use a loud weapon and immediately hide his body. The tranquilized bodies will not invalidate your run when they're found. So, yeah, that's that. Um, thanks for watching, and see you next time.